good day all and welcome back to our channel so today i'm here to explain how to import opening balance in order 40 so for that we can directly put a counting module so at the end of year we will have to transfer the closing balance of the current year as an opening balance to the new financial year so you can create an opening balance uh, manually uh, by creating a journal entry or we can create opening balance from the accounting dashboard uh, from here so here you can find on onboarding panel uh, where we can set up your chart of accounts and record initial balances so click on the review button so you can see all the accounts okay you can see the code account name and the type of account the and whether uh, reconciliation it's enabled that is uh, switch in order to allow reconciliation and then here we can see the initial balance of each account that is opening debit and opening credit okay and if you want to create a new new account you can just click on this create button and here you can provide the code account name type and these details okay and here you can find some accounts like account receivable, uh, outstanding payments, outstanding receipts, account payable. So there are a few accounts which cannot be removed uh, because these are set as default by Odo in certain areas. Like if you go to customer form, that is a partner form, it can be vendor. So inside a partner form, you have an accounting tab. Where you, where you can see accounting entries, that is including account payable and receivable. So you can see two accounts are set by Odoo, uh, that is by default. Okay, so you cannot remove these accounts and you can also find accounts set on journal, like if you open a bank journal or cash journal, you can uh, see bank account set and suspense account then here under payments configuration you can see new two accounts that is outstanding receipts account and outstanding payments account okay so these accounts are set by Uru uh, as default so you cannot remove them but you can replace them that is if you want to update account you can do that okay so if you want to import or insert that is create new records you can just come under favorites here you can find an option to import records so you can import accounts and you can also use this option to update existing accounts so here you can see we have to set the opening debit and credit for each account for that uh, you can use this option import and you can update these uh, values Okay, so before importing, uh, you can download the template. So for that, you can use the option export all and you can download all the accounts, all the records, or you can simply click on these options. And here you can find export option under action. So here, let me choose all the account and come under action, click on export. Okay, here you can find two, ex two formats for exporting. That is one is Excel and other one is CSV. Okay, so you can see uh, some fields are already added like opening debit, opening credit, type, account name, code and allow reconciliation. So you can add uh, more fields and that is from this available fields. So you can search for fields here. Okay. So here I'm going to search for a field that is external ID. So this one is useful because this external ID is actually an XML ID 
uh, which is a string identifier that uniquely identifies a particular record in Uru. So it is important uh, to add this field when you are planning to import data. So if you supply an external ID, then Odoo checks if this record already exists. And if it does not exist, then the line of your import file becomes an insert. That is a new entry will be inserted. Or if it does not exist, then that line of your import file becomes an update. Okay, so again, click on this plus button to add that field. Now click on export. So you can download the Excel file. Now open this Excel file when it's completed. Okay, and it's also possible to download, that is export the file as CSV. Okay, so you can find all the records in uh, with a column like code, account name, type, uh, allow reconciliation, opening debit, opening credit, and external ID. Okay, so if you want to update uh, the opening debit and credit, you can enter from here. Okay, I'm going to change the opening credit uh, debit of this current asset account. Okay, so we have added opening balance of some accounts and then here it's also possible to add uh, more accounts below. So you can add new entries.
Okay, after adding, you can save this file. Okay, now come under favorites and import records. Okay, so here we can load an Excel or CSV file. So Excel files are recommended because of the formatting is done automatically. So from here, we can choose the file. Okay, so those files are added, uh, those records are added. And you can see the fields, that is a uh, columns are mapped with the field uh, because the columns that you have given inside the file was having the same name of the field. Okay, so they are automatically mapped. And if you want to remove uh, some fields, you can just click on this course to remove that uh, field from importing, column from importing. Okay, so after that, you can click on this test. And as this file, uh, is the loaded file is a CSV Excel file, field formatting is done automatically. Okay, when you click on test, you can see everything seems valid. So if you forget to add the code, and if you try to import this, so when I test, you can see an error show missing required value for the field code because we have removed this code from import. So let me again add this. So make sure that all the mandatory fields are added before importing. Okay, now when I test it again, you can see everything seems valid. Now I can click on import to import this file. Okay, so you can see 90 records successfully imported. And here you can see for many accounts, the opening debit and opening credits are updated, the values are updated. So you can see for current asset account, opening debit is updated here, 5,000 added. And you can see for this bank account, 6,000 6, is set as opening credit. Okay, so the initial balance is set for many accounts. And when you come below, you can also find the newly added records that is we have inserted new records including uh, computers purchase expense okay and you can see the initial balance of these accounts okay so after adding this initial balance when you check the journal entry you can see a new journal entry with the opening balance is created Okay, so you can see an open opening journal entry is created in track state and you can see the total balance that is still 32,300. So here we can find the reference. And so this belongs to journal miscellaneous operation. I can find the accounting date. So you okay, can see it's a starting of financial year. And here you can find the accounts that we have added with the label as opening balance. And uh, below you can also find an account that is added for uh, balancing uh, the amount. That is here you can find debit and credit for each account. And uh, along with that, you can also find a field that is tax grid. So this is used for used in tax reporting. Okay. And it's also possible for posting this automatically, but this one is not enabled. Okay. So 
right now it is in draft state and if you want to post this general entry you can click on post so this entry will be posted opening balance in order 40.